Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpapaya Mega and Iran. So I'm gonna record another two episode session where we're gonna continue with the plans that we had until now. So that is mostly, to be quite honest, improving our depth. We really need to get it under 50%. You can see that we're now paying 2.5 billion on interest every week, uh, just like that for the debt. So that needs to be lowered. And we're also going to continue with the research. Uh, we're very close to getting a, two, a 2005 cruiser hull. I think the next one is 225. Yeah, the next one is 225. So we're going to use that one for quite some time. Uh, we also have a couple of other interesting technologies in the pipeline, like the advanced industrial robotics, which gives factory output was 15%. Uh, working on our transport helicopters, we're working on some uh, nuclear reactors, so stuff is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to mention that uh, I'm building quite a nice backlog now. I'm thinking I'm like 8 or maybe 10 episodes even ahead of the ones that are published. Uh, but what I want to mention is that uh, Beast Mode actually commented today that um, I might have missed uh, getting uh, the chiefs of Army, Navy, and Air Force in place. And he's right. Uh, I didn't do that, and later on I forgot about it, but it doesn't really matter, because the fact is that if we even try that, I wouldn't be able to do it due to the, you know, constant lack of political power. We had much better use for it. Uh, the plus 10 percent defense might have been really good, but again, it would lower offense, so it's not something that you actually have to... Uh, get what would have been better maybe would be the lowered attrition and um, a bit of army experience would be good entrenchment speed the recovery rate would have been nice as well but again we didn't have the political power but it's a good idea to maybe see if we can save up some at this point and just get it there though we are working up on the Islamic propaganda campaign. I don't think we're actually actively spending on anything else at this point. Uh, yeah, we're getting much better numbers now. So maybe we'll do it. I'll let it run for a bit and we'll see if we can save up some. So the uh, amount we're getting now is 4.36 billion, but it's bound to change. Okay, we're not getting enough materials here. Okay, I don't believe this is right. Let me see. The white metals though, that is critical. Yeah, we're already going way too far. So eight, and here we don't need this eight. Ukraine will leave European Union. Damn, who else is in the EU? I think I can't access that unless I am actually... Wait, hold on. You know what we could do? I think we can see it here on the EU policies. Uh, uh, Europe Economic Government. Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece, Spain, France, Malta, Cyprus. Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Austria, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, United Kingdom. Uh, it's a bit weird. It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit weird. I don't know what to make up of that. I don't think that num that is actually how it works, but okay. Okay, I'm okay with the effect that Russia has on us. Slovakia will leave the EU. Mm, I'm thinking we might want to get rid of the American influence. Korea and Russia, I'm fine with China, Singapore. Yeah, let's attack the influence from the United States. Okay, keep repaying the debt. Like there's our life depending on it. Yeah, it changes a lot. Building more civilian factories, which is good. Also building some of the Damavans. 
Someone spoke about this in the comments, I can't remember who, but yeah, they're pretty much good. Uh, we have the Sahans, who are anti-submarines, and also, of course, the attack helicopters are great against um, enemy ships in the largest scale possible, and we can support the land, and the cruisers are going to be anti-ship primarily, so that's how we're going to organize our fleet. 54.3 Okay Now it's really high Just hope the AI won't hit us with some negative effect Anytime soon, that would suck Okay, how, we, how far are we with the production of the rockets? Probably still 1716, yeah, but we'll have, you know, the shops are not bad the shahabs are not bad. I just need to hold. And next time we're gonna make much less of them because I went too far. And, or actually, I should have just put more, uh, more factories on it. Okay, we don't have any political power. 54.2. So we're working on the Minister of Communications. Okay, decryption. I believe that's... Yep, that's all of this. Quantum computing. Production efficiency growth and research speed. 645 days. Jesus Christ. Construction. This is also ahead of time. Fuel gate for oil. Very so good on the fuel, I don't even want to comment on that. Okay, we can go with the modern special forces. That is something that we would like to do. On the reconnaissance. Oh, but these ones would be better if we had some army experience. Um, okay, let's get to this one. Improved anti-air weapons. Light anti-air weapons have seen vast improvements in recent years in taking out helicopters in combat situations. So defense and anti-air improved defense by 5% and anti-air by 2. The industrial robotics are carrying 15% output for our factories. It's amazing. Okay, only 147 artillery pieces need to be upgraded. 33 Isfahans, actually 31 and 91 Maus. And only 5,123 command equipments. And 41,000 Zulfi guards. And we're gonna be done. Okay, and then, of course, the Air Force, but that's a given. And that's what we're gonna keep up doing. Snap! How come you don't get more generation interceptor? Transport attack helicopters. What the hell are you talking about, game? You're saying that we need upgrades, but we downright need. It's a motor fighter, a motor fighter, a motor. What's going on? Huh. Kinda of confused on what's going on there. The game, I think, is a bit confused about our number of aircraft. <laughs> okay, we've bypassed the cyber police for some reason. And the reason is... The cyber police grants encryption. Extensive police apparatus. Uh, not sure why that one was bypassed, but okay, I'll take it. Either way, it's fine. Uh, wait, where, where are we? Purge Concour. Ah, here, okay, Cyber Police. National Intranet. Stability plus 10% or Global Internet. Extra stability, daily pro western support. Second great firewall. Oh wow. Or 
cyberspace protection Replace internet with Tar East Nat Lowest police cost They would pro Western support or go with free internet we get extra research <laughs> minus 100% on encryption Jesus well it might seem better to go with the national intranet but not entirely sure we wanted to lower costs, so is there anything we can do? Yeah, the Jihad of Education. Let's do that one. Well, Jihad is typically interpreted as a holy war in the West, which is known as Greater Jihad. The Lesser Jihad involves the development of self and the internal battle against sin. In the educational aspect, Jihad can be done by obeying teachers, being disciplined, teaching properly, and being sincere. We must ensure our students are receiving proper education and are being taught to be good Muslims. So we lower education cost by 10%, but research speed also drops. However, for us, the priority now is budget, 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 budget. We need to get rid of the debt. We're paying interest, which is nearly as high as internal security and education together, which is really insane. So let's make sure that we lower that. Oh! Why can't you deploy it? Do we have too many ships or Boucher? Oh, we don't have enough manpower! Oh god! Recruitable 6 Self depreciation is killing that, okay So we have severe problems with manpower do we have enough manpower here? We do. Okay, well, I did not expect that, but fine. Just remove all but one. And we we'll have to be careful, I guess. Are you guys taking casualties? And strength. They might be. Okay, you know what we can do? You know what we can do? Foreign recruitment campaign. 90% chance of gain base stability minus 1. It's gonna give us 2,500 manpower, but I'll take the stability and we can also offset it by this. Increase government supervision. Yeah. We'll offset the manpower by getting more uh, more supervision. It's 90 days per week. Yeah, that's gonna in the end it's gonna even further increase our stability. But holy hell, that was not great. I did not realize we were so low on the manpower. But yeah, we're getting what minus 90 percent. Yeah, minus 90 percent for our military spending. Just absolutely bonkers when you think about it. Uh, so, wait, that was over here, right? Yeah. Small drones. Reconnaissance plus 5%. Uh, I'd much rather go with the advanced AI now, because it's going to be better. So let's go for advanced AI. More advanced AI that can register and quicker adapt to situations can make all the difference. It's not such a great technology to think about it, but okay. Well, interest rate is down to 5.3%. So that's good. 
That's a positive thing. Six recruitable people. <laughs> just, just, in all of Iran, there's like six people per month who want to serve in the army. Which I actually think might be fairly realistic. Okay. So we're getting support. Yeah, we got one guy. I throw one guy. Okay. You guys are now done and you can join the Eastern Army. Uh, I'll have to uh, mix you guys up later on, but considering the manpower issues that we have, I don't think we'll be able to do anything with the army for quite some time, unless it's reduction in units. But I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Commando division. One would be great to upgrade, especially because they're gonna be using the transport helicopters. Which will eventually be much better. 207. A uh, CAS 9 gene editing is done. Monthly population plus 5%. Happy with that. Okay, now we can go with Tracia RNA. Trans activating CRISPR RNA is a small trans encoding RNA. First discovered in the human pathogen Streptococcus pyogenes, the RNA helps in the foundation of a defense against viruses and plasmids. Okay, additional boost to manpower growth. Okay, 10%. Okay, 53% depth. And we got the next level on the nuclear reactor finished. Good. Good, good, good. So now let's go with the thermonuclear warhead 300 kilotons. To make it properly scary. Once we're done with the advanced battle stations. We're gonna work on the modern diesel engine and the modern medium tank gun. Actually I wanted to see what... Oh no, 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 we don't want to get you anymore. I wanted to check on the Zulfigar. See what kind of... Where are you? What kind of medium okay a medium gun so if we get this one the medium thing gun we're gonna get a much better gun than we had extra breakthrough seven extra heart attack two extra sub attack piercing increased by 20 we're gonna upgrade the Zufi guards that we have with these two technologies and then we're gonna design the next Zufi guard. Okay, we got you. So what can we go with next? Naples Tactic Mobile Recon. Maneuver and movement is a key in a modern combat and we shall make it clear to our troops. So extra division speed of 3% and the organization loss when moving world by 15%. So the jihad on education is done. Okay, I'm not sure if that helped in any way, but it's fine. I believe it did. Encourage rural modernization. <gasps> Population tax revenue plus 3%. Oh, yes. That is something that we want. The rurities of our country have been ignored in every aspect for far too long. And if we are to become a power on the world stage, we will have to encourage the Governor General 
and the provincial authorities of these underdeveloped provinces to direct efforts at modernization. Okay, but we get it only for 730 days, but still more than two years. Afghan Taliban attacks police station. We influenced some people. Now let's get the modern medium tank gun. With modern smart ammunition and improved materials, a modern medium tank gun can pierce almost 40 inches of armor, steel at shorter ranges and can fire a variety of anti-tank and anti-infantry rounds. Uh, amazing. So let's get it. And once that is going to be done, we are going to upgrade the Zofigar to 2-4. Breakthrough and defense conversion is really cheap, but with the gun, it's gonna get a bit more expensive. So, Padaha Homa is finished. We can go with the transport helicopter 2005. Sure, why not? Also, let's kill the efficiency of this one. Oh, you cost more precious metals, metals that we do not have. Okay, we really do not need more of you because we're not producing any ships. Oh, we get the manpower now. Good. Uh, we actually produced another demo wand, so let's assign it to these ones. Okay, we need to build one more. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. That puts us back to needing more metal. Uh, but at least we're doing fine. Okay, 52.8% is now the depth. I want to get it under. 50% if at all possible before we do any major changes. Okay, commercial manufacturing is going to be done in 12 days, which is another amazing one. And the cruiser how in 14 days. And once we get those, I'm going to call the episode done and we're going to design our next ship. Which is going to be... Well, we need at least two of those for each one of the fleets that we're planning. Now we could just consider this and the Indian Ocean fleet and have it as it is and start building up the Black Sea and the Mediterranean fleet as a new one. Make much more sense, I guess. Okay, can we now get rid of the depreciation? Now we're at 85%. We need the military parade in Mashhad. And we're gonna be done. Oh, and it's gonna cost 200. Why to give up political power gain? Recruitable population factor of 1%. That's actually really useful. Because without it, we are kinda screwed. Okay. How's, how bad is the depreciation? Resistance economy. Well, one for population. Uh, Ibrahim Judiciary. Modernized army. War. Is it? Ah, here it is. Political power gain of 10% and research speed by 20. Well, that is an issue. So commercial manufacturing is done. And we can go with modern 3D printing. Or we could switch to nanotech immediately. Uh, this one is not that important for us right now. 2025. Are we producing 
You are still producing Tosan. Okay, so let's get the better ATGM. Wait, where was it? Here. And the better mounted ATGM. So anti tank guided missile are manned portable missile systems employing high explosive warheads specifically designed to attack heavily armored vehicles. This generation of ATGMs are fire and forget using an electro optical image seeker. They employ tandem charged missiles to defeat modern explosive reaction armor and often are top attack variants which attack the weakest part of the enemy armor. Well, that's cool. And the cruiser hull is coming in two days. How low is that? And once we get it, we can start working on some of these technologies. Our submarine engine, our surface nuclear reactors, improved support system. Okay. 76 millimeter gun, 127 millimeter gun, better defenses. Okay, let's go with anti-vessel missiles 1985. Anti-vessel missiles compose anti-submarine and anti-ship missile platforms. The two turret systems are slightly different in designs and the payload, but they ultimately perform the same function, destroy the target. And on that note, we're gonna end the episode, and in the next one, we're gonna start by designing the new ship and putting it up for production. So till then, you guys, take care.